The day was full of getting ready. Orby found out that the vacuum cleaner eats cotton balls, but it doesn't like them very much. Katie found out that flowers can get too much water, and they both discovered that sometimes when you help with the dishes, you also have to help mop up the floor. Dad had to go away on a business trip, so Mom invited her old friend Ara to stay for the weekend. Ara was bringing her baby. When Katie opened the door, there was Ara looking the same as in her picture, but the baby she was holding in the picture was grown up. In fact, he was very grown up, even bigger than Katie. He was carrying drumsticks. Katie asked him to come in right away, but before anyone could even move, the boy shook Katie's hand and told her his name was Micah. He had a big smile that almost took over his face, and Katie smiled back. I'm Katie, she said, and she opened the door wide. Mom was glad to see Ara because she missed her very much. They talked and talked and, and talked. Katie asked Micah to come out back and meet Orby. Orby was busy building a rocket ship with some blocks and sheets. Micah repeated the word rocket, and Katie agreed. At first, Micah didn't want to leave his mother, but then he did. Micah brought his drumsticks with him. When Micah walked out the back door, he was enormously surprised to see Orby. He stared at him for a few minutes without moving. Orby flipped over to Micah, just because Orby liked to do that. And Micah stepped back, looking a bit worried. Katie smiled and told Micah that this was her best friend. Micah hesitated a minute. I'm Micah, he said. Then he reached a finger out to one of his lovely red polka dots. Orby smiled at Micah and made a do-you-like-them kind of sound. Micah simply reported, nice dots. Orby showed Micah the rocket ship. Micah didn't want to go in at first. He, he just held on to his drumsticks and looked from Orby to the rocket. Katie thought it was because he was so big that he didn't ride and play rockets anymore, but actually, Micah was afraid that it would fall down and hurt him. Katie didn't understand, but Orby did. Orby showed Micah that it was only sheets, and sheets don't hurt if they fall. Micah put his foot in, and then his arm, and then soon enough, he was right inside. He smiled, one of his great big smiles, and it made Katie and Orby and Micah laugh. It wasn't long before they were playing rockets and pretending to fly through the air. Orby named the planets with great pride. Katie and Micah applauded every wonderful Orby sound. Soon it was time to go in for supper. Micah didn't want to leave the spaceship. He just sat there saying, fly again, fly again. Katie didn't know what to do or why Micah was just sitting there, but Orby knew. He burbled to Micah that they could easily fly again tomorrow, but it was time to stop at the space station and eat some food. Micah smiled again and said, All right. At supper, Ara and Mum told stories about when they were young. They laughed and giggled, and so did everybody else. And Katie thought it was very funny that Mom and Ara went swimming in a fountain once. <laughs> Orby thought it was funny when they were cheerleaders at a football game, and Mom turned <laughs> the wrong way. And Micah thought it was funny when they laughed. At times, Micah needed help cutting his meat. Ara just leaned over to him and kept talking. Mom and Ara had a lot to say. Later that night, when they lined up at the sink, Micah was brushing his teeth and getting a fair amount of toothpaste on his face. He clutched his drumsticks under his arm. As Katie put toothpaste on her brush, she wondered why Micah was so messy. That night, when Katie and Orby were tucked in bed, Katie asked Mom about Micah. He was nine years old, and he wasn't very good at rocket ships or meat cutting or brushing his teeth. Mom explained that Micah had Down syndrome. It wasn't always easy for him to do things that other children found easy. Micah was special. Kitty asked her if he was special like Orby. Orby smiled happily. No, Mom told her. Orby is special on the outside, but Micah is special on the inside. But does that mean he isn't very good at anything she wanted to know? The mom tucked in the cover and said, I imagine that he's good at something. Katie wanted to know what. Mom kissed Katie goodnight and told her she really didn't know. But Orby thought maybe he did. The next day, Orby woke up 
he set to work right away. He found Katie's two old toy drums and a great big stewing pot that Mom said he could use. He also found a small horn and a pair of cymbals. He set them all up outside. When Katie woke up, she was very surprised to see all the instruments together. When Micah came downstairs, he was delighted. He even started waving the drumsticks in the air to show what he was going to do. After breakfast, the three friends headed outside. Well, at first there was a lot of noise and shouting and organizing going on. Then, all of a sudden, there was something like music coming out of the backyard. Katie was blowing the trumpet. Micah was beating the drums, and every now and then, Orby crashed the cymbals. It wasn't long before Yi Ping joined them. She brought a harmonica. After that, Tom came along with his guitar. Then Mrs. Perrette poked her head around the corner of the house. She brought her jingle bell. Tom did a lot of hooping and hollering. The music was sounding so good that Mom and Era came to the back door and watched in amazement. They were all dancing and being a little silly, except for Micah, who was playing the drums and the big stewing pot beautifully. Mom and Ara sat down to listen. Mrs. Perrette laughed so hard at Tom, who was hopping around on one foot, that she could barely jingle the bells at all. Micah made a quick drum roll to end the show, and everyone took a bow. In the kitchen, Katie and Orby helped Mom pour drinks for the band. Katie told Mom that Micah may not have been very good at rocket ships or cutting his meat or brushing his teeth, but he was very, very good at drums. Orby trumpeted his success. He pointed out that sometimes you have to look a little further than the polka dots to find out what's special in someone. Mom told them that everyone is special in their own way. She was right. Everyone is, even you. <laughs>